Our cycad collection is one of my favorite parts of this botanical collection, particularly the Encephalardus, which is a genus of these ancient plants that comes from Africa. If this looks at all kind of like a pine cone or something reminiscent to you, you're onto something there because these are actually such ancient plants that they predate any of the conifers or any other plant that actually produces seed. So these plants go back to a time when dinosaurs still roamed the earth and there were no such thing as bees or butterflies yet. Pollination was actually done primarily by the wind and the water in that time. This is one of the first plants ever to actually take advantage of insects to move its pollen from one plant to another. So this is a female cone and we don't have a male nearby. We actually don't even have the insects here that would do that pollen movement. So how do we, rare, how do we preserve and proliferate a rare species like this one where there may only be a few dozen or a few hundred of them left in the wild? Well, it comes down to <laughs> dedicated and technical horticulture done by our staff and volunteers here at San Diego Botanic Garden. So we actually collect pollen from our males and then manually pollinate our females. This one is not quite ready, but this month coming up it will be. And what I'll have to do is to come through here with a syringe full of pollen and pretend that I'm a miniature beetle getting inside of this cone here. In order for us to produce seeds, like you can see on the ground around, you actually need to get one grain of pollen connected to one cell on these female embryos. It's that specific and it does take a lot of time and dedication, but what you get out of it are new little plants. So some of these species only have a few dozen, if that, left in the wild and they're so scattered that even where they have the pollinators, they're not often getting pollinated anymore because there are so few of them so far apart. This is another great example of where your support for a garden like ours not only leads to the long-term preservation of individuals like this beautiful female Encephalardus velosus next to me, but also a way for there to be more plants, similar plants for future generations. So keep an eye on our new plant shop coming online near our conservatory. And it's one of the only places that you're likely to find some special plants like this beautiful little Encephalardus trispinosus, one of my favorite brutally spiny blue leaves it truly is a dinosaur plant if there ever was one.